Morning guys. Uh, just want to talk about concentrating on the wrong stuff. Um, this is business wise as well as YouTube and all sorts. Um, for example in the Philippines genre when people are more focused on the negative stuff um, there's no upside on it. I mean there might be some amusement in it but there's no upside in the sense monetary wise um, it's not very good. Um, a lot of people have had problems with their channels getting banned etc. Uh, but also you've got the other side that affects your subscribers and there's no positive side. Uh, from a business point of view some people get um, obsessed with things that are sort of irrelevant when you're starting up. Uh, for example, needing a new sofa for the office, needing um, a new vehicle, needing X, Y, Z. It's getting away from the bits you do need, which is actually just getting the thing up and running. If you've got no clients, then you've got nobody to impress in the first place. So the amount you've spent on the bits and pieces you don't need, you're doing better off spending on the stuff that you did need. Um, for example, we're looking at setting up a small maintenance company here in Spain. Uh, we've got the old van. Am I going to go and buy a new one? The answer is no. I'll use the old van. Um, because primarily, it's not based on the image of the vehicle. It's based on the work you've done previously. It's based on your accessibility and generating leads through advertisement etc the actual vehicle doesn't actually generate any revenue um, now i will say for a corporate level then the vehicles are important but often they're actually bought within the contracts anyway so it, i mean it's actually bought within the contracts they don't actually have the vehicles to start with it's often the case of the letters being signed uh, to say yeah we're go going ahead we're paying upfront payment and away you go it's within the money that they've been given on the contract. For Joe Bloggs in his small firm, it's out of his pocket. So this is what I'm saying, you don't really need to be focusing on a lot of the stuff that quite simply wastes your time. Because initially, the one thing you want is clients. The rest of it will follow on. So don't assume you need a new computer, if you're going to do YouTube, you don't need a new phone, don't do anything. Start off with working with what you've got because one of the important bits is developing your skills over time. That's more important than having the latest iPhone or whatever. Um, because once you get it developed, the revenue you're generating online will pay for a new iPhone if you wanted one. Um, but when you're starting off and you've got like a four year old phone, um, but it's video is good enough, etc. Do you need a new phone? The answer is no. Um, it's convenient sometimes to have a newer phone, but it won't stop your development. It won't stop you making uh, videos. If anything, it means that you can start today. And that's one of the key elements to all this, is focus on what you need and not what you want. Um, it's the same with like, some of the stuff on YouTube. I think some of the people that churn stuff out there, I do say churn because they focus on um, disputes or running other people down more than anything else uh, those individuals should actually spend a bit more time focused on finding something positive to do um, for me all it shows is a lack of content um, or ability to generate content and there's always content out there I mean even here I'm just stood in the sand dunes I could actually turn around and just do a video around here um, the funny thing is on my Spanish channel people are quite interested in the bits and pieces around this this town area um, but that's what I'm saying is you should focus on the bits that you need and then you can focus on the bits what what you want once you've generated some revenue um, especially in business and I would also say if you're doing YouTube for money pick your niches wisely there's some fantastic niches out there um, and then you've got other ones which are saturated but not only are they saturated they don't have a lot of advertising revenue and I've mentioned this about the Philippines before um, because the Philippines genre I can't actually get a Philippines holiday in the UK I don't know if that's changed since I, I was looking um, but nobody actually did 
a holiday to the Philippines because it's still on the um, what do you call it the um, embassy watch list there's been a place that has kidnappings and stuff so no tour operator in their right mind would want to um, offer holidays there so you've got to bear that in mind if they're not advertising there what are your advertisements what what are you focused on what is it bringing in you'd be better off with a cooking channel or cooking appliance channel even um, because the genre is much bigger in the sales side just want to push that across there um, but yeah it all depends what you're doing it for if you're doing it because you want to or you're doing it because you um, want to make money they're two different things all right thanks for watching